after our incredible adventure in the Guajira region, we decided to head down towards Medellin, knowing that we would make a few stops on the way. But after this challenging and overwhelming expedition, we obviously needed a little break. And there is no better place than the peaceful Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta for a good rest. We know the region quite well, so we already knew where we wanted to go and what we could do. So we were heading up to the mountains, to a very tiny village known for its mesmerizing surroundings. During our way, it was unbelievable to see the change from the deserted environment in La Guajira region to the tropical forests by Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Hey guys, so which juice would you prefer? Aguita de coco, the coconut juice, or maybe arasao? Can you believe that we are just 100 kilometers away from Camarones, the last place that we were in La Guajira? And the place where we are now is totally different. The change is drastic. We are in a tropical jungle. A little break for the natural juice. This is the best what you can expect from Colombia. So each time when we are on our motorbikes and we need a break for our asses, <laughs> then we have a break with a pure natural juice. Hola, señora. Buenos días. Tienen jugos naturales, ¿no? Sí, señora. Pero de qué podemos tener? Guanabana. Guanabana. Guanabana is incredible here. Borojo. Ah, this is this is the fruit that I don't know. Borojo. Ah, it's not the one that you like, Nico. No. No, it's nispero. Tú quieres eso. Sí, yo voy a probar. Okay, Nico wants this one because he tries all the time the new things. I think you're gonna try this one because you don't know it. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Arasan, entonces. En agua o en leche. Dos con leche sin azúcar. Just trying the juices from this really nice lady. So I have arasa. Mm. Yeah, this is incredible. This is the best one. <laughs> eso es lo mejor. She's just giving uh, giving us uh, avocado. I want to pay her for this, but she just wants to give me give me this as a gift. But I said no, yo lo pago. No. no <laughs> she was supposed to give us just two, but look look here, she just put it to our bag. Isn't <laughs> she more. lovely, amazing? So she she just invited us to her house, but we can't stay because we are meeting our friend and we already booked a hotel. <laughs> We are above Minca. It's a tiny village situated just 16 kilometers away from Santa Marta. We don't want to stay in Santa Marta because it's a big, crowded, noisy town and we hate it. After an intense stay in La Guajira, we just wanted to be in a very relaxed and calm place. And that's why we chose Minca. We know this place because we stayed here four years ago for about one week. And here in Minca, you have really nice hotels. I can recommend you two hotels, Mundo Nuevo and Casas Viejas. And that's actually where we are going right now. The Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta is one of the highest coastal mountain ranges in the world. Where else on earth can you see palm trees? and huge snow-capped mountains reaching almost 6,000 meters. This breathtaking mountain range is also very special because it is inhabited by four indigenous tribes. These are Wiwas, Arhuacos, Kogis and Canquamos and they are the direct descendants of an ancient civilization known as Tairona. They speak different languages, but they share common beliefs, like the one that Earth is a living being and we are its children.
The Sierra Nevada is also a home for many hidden ruins, like Ciudad Perdida, which means the lost city. You can get there only by walking. A four-day trek will take you deep in the jungle and you will experience one of the most beautiful scenery in northern Colombia. Guys, you don't do it, but that's how I come back home. <laughs> With my husband behind me because he was drinking too many okay. beers. Pero qué sexy. Siempre ha sido el gran amor. Calla. After our stay in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, we drove 300 kilometers in one day and reached the colorful and vivid town of Mompox, which welcomed us with an unexpected concert of traditional cumbia. The ambience there was just unbelievable. We felt like we had moved back to the times before the pandemic. So this is Mompox. I think it's the first time you can actually see me in a dress since one month. It's the first time that I'm wearing a dress since we started our remote expedition. Why did we come to Mompox? Because it's on our way to Medellin and because Isa can buy a really nice jewelry here. Mompox is very famous for its gold and silver jewelry. Mompox is a perfect two-day gateway from crowded Cartagena or Santa Marta. It still keeps its authenticity by being unknown outside of Colombia. It also has a very rich history, thanks to becoming the first Colombian town to declare independence from Spain. But in the 1980s, this city became a hub for paramilitares and guerrilla soldiers, which made it a no-go zone for outsiders. Nowadays, local tourism is growing very fast in Mompox, and if you are a fan of cumbia, then this place is definitely for you. If you come to this town, especially on the weekend, you will definitely feel its untouched, authentic vibe. Sundays in Colombia look like this one. Everybody's watching a match, people playing, just enjoying the time spent together. On the other side, fiestas, music, beer. Very local experience here in Mompox. On our second day in Mompox, we had to wake up at 4 a.m. to catch a boat ride and get to famous wetlands called Cienaga de Pijino, known for its extraordinary fauna and flora. Again, we are in a very local and authentic place near Mompox. I have no idea where we are going. Yesterday we met Soy Tribu, a very famous YouTuber from Spain, and he told us that they are going to see some lagos in the morning, they are going to see sunset. We're gonna go with him. So, Soy Tribu. Tienes que decir algo. ¿Qué tal? Que la vida es maravillosa. Ah, voilà. Y que dulce es para quien la sabe saborear. This is Soy Tribu. <laughs> well, Spain. Al final somos todos de una tribu u otra. Sí, claro. Creo que si no, vamos a van sin nosotros. Sí. Oh. Okay, so we are going for a boat ride. The wetlands around Mompox are home to fascinating wildlife, such as birds and riptide species. On the way to the boat, we were enjoying the simple and traditional way of life of the locals who are all surprised and happy to see some foreigners visiting the region. What's more, we got there at sunrise and we were rewarded by amazing colors in the sky. A lot of people here mostly live from fishing and once on the boat we could see some of them at work. 
But the biggest surprise for us was getting to the middle of the Cienaga and being the witnesses of the natural bird show. At this moment of being so close to thousands of white birds, we were overcome with a feeling of gratitude for having the chance to be there as spectators of yet another one of Colombia's displays of natural beauty. After a boat ride, we have a delicious breakfast. Fish, I think it's mochara, mo, mo, mojara. 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 <laughs> mojara. Mojara frita. Some yuca. And another fish here. Amazing breakfast. And this was our captain. La mojara de la Freddy. <laughs> so it's high time to say goodbye to Mompox. It was a beautiful two day stay in this amazing village. I bought too many things, too much jewelry, but it's beautiful. You should just come here for shopping girls. Hey guys, I hope you like this vlog. It was actually quite difficult to make it because two weeks ago I flew to another country and only a few days ago Nico could join me. So the question is where we are right now? Maybe you can guess from the volcano which is just behind me. Maybe you know this volcano. It is 6,000 meters above the sea level. If you know, let me know in the comments. But don't worry, we didn't finish posting our vlogs from Colombia. And there will be more and more vlogs to come. So stay tuned and keep watching our channel. And now I would like to say something in my native language, which is Polish. Przede wszystkim, chciałabym serdecznie podziękować Bartkowi z Bez Planu za nieocenioną pomoc. Bartek wisze Ci naprawdę nie wiem ile skrzynek piwa, także mam nadzieję, że uda nam się gdzieś spotkać na świecie, nie wiem czy w Polsce, czy gdzie indziej. Także Bartek, mega dzięki za polecenie mojego kanału. No i dziękuję Wam, również widzom, subskrybentom nowym, którzy po prostu zaufaliście mi. Mimo tego, że, vlog jest, że vlogi są po angielsku, to zostaliście tutaj. Także mega się cieszę i bardzo Wam dziękuję za to, że chcę Wam się czytać te polskie napisy i mam nadzieję, że zostaniecie tu ze mną na dłużej. Pozdrawiam Was gorąco z nowego kraju. Jeśli wiecie, gdzie, gdzie jestem teraz, to dajcie znać w komentarzach. Pewnie ci, co obserwują mnie na Instagramie, już wiedzą, gdzie jestem, ale ci, co nie wiedzą, może będą zgadywać. Pozdrowienia i całusy!